A new bachelor, Drake caught in a lip lock, and One Direction all heating up today's entertainment city. But first, we speak exclusively with the lead singer of an iconic Canadian band as he faces what he calls the fight of his life. I can lift my leg a little bit, and uh, and uh, my hands come back a little bit, so I can touch like that. Alan Frew speaks openly for the first time since suffering a stroke last week. The Glass Tiger frontman walked himself into a Toronto hospital on Thursday when he realized something was wrong. And then all hell broke loose. It just, it just hit. I was completely paralyzed uh, on my right side. Frew says he stopped taking his medication for cholesterol and hypertension. I stupidly told myself I didn't need that medication and I think that's the price I've paid for it. The Scotland-born singer is sharing his frightening experience with fans on social media. He expects to make a full recovery and vows to sing again. Once he's back on his feet, he'll be releasing a new CD of classic 80s hits. One Direction is mending broken hearts, sort of. Three of the boy band's members have taken to Twitter to clarify that the band is not breaking up. Niall Horan tweeted, lots of rumors going around. We are not splitting up, but we will be taking a well-earned break at some point next year. Liam Payne added, it's been the most amazing five years and there's so much more to come. While Louis Tomlinson tweeted, your support is truly indescribable. It's just a break. We're not going anywhere. Only Harry Styles has yet to chime in amid reports he's being courted by record labels for a solo deal. We can make it the end. Has Justin Bieber been banned from doing live interviews? According to Page Six, reps for the bad boy Bieber aren't taking any chances, banning him from any live media interviews in hopes he won't embarrass himself. The Canadian pop star, who is currently in New York promoting his upcoming single, will only be doing taped interviews so that they can cut out anything controversial. Alison Brie and Dave Franco are engaged. The actor showed off her bling and ring on that finger at last night's premiere of her new movie, Sleeping with Other People. Brie and James Franco's little brother have reportedly been dating since 2012, but the couple have always been very private about their relationship. And congrats to the happy couple. And we've got more romance on our radar, starting with your new bachelor. Ben Higgins, the software salesman who stole viewers' hearts, but not Caitlin's, on The Bachelorette, has been officially named the new Bachelor. The announcement follows much speculation that he would be named the leading man after the 26-year-old came in third place on Caitlin Bristow's season of The Bachelorette. Like, I just don't even really know how to say goodbye to you right now. Bristow herself, a Vancouver native who eventually chose love with Sean Booth, said Higgins was her top pick for the role. Season 20 of The Bachelor premieres in January on City. Is Drake a bachelor no more? Looks like those Drizzy and Serena Williams romance rumors have been confirmed. The tennis pro was caught locking lips with October's very own at a very fancy Italian spot. This photo, obtained by TMZ, was taken hours after Serena dominated the WTA tournament in Cincinnati with Drake in the crowd. The Toronto rapper was spotted earlier this month catching the tennis superstar on the court at the Rogers Cup in Toronto. The two have been linked for years, but Williams recently shot down new romance rumors saying they're, quote, just like family. We're not buying that one. I know exactly who you could be. Remember to tune in for your entertainment news first in the morning on Entertainment City and anytime on Twitter at NCity.